at Isaiah 51, verse 3. It's a brand new week, and this new month is strategically positioned. Thank God for multiplication. It's going to continue. Somebody say it continues in my life. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all our waste places. He will make our wilderness like the garden of Eden. Supernatural turnaround. And a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving, gratitude, and the voice of melody. Mount Zion is symbolic of the church of Jesus Christ. If you study the book of Isaiah from chapter 52, you will discover it's talking about the birth of the church. Zion is the dwelling place of God. The church of Jesus Christ is the body, the dwelling place of the whole of heaven. The kingdom is within us. Amen. Therefore, this new week, by the unfailing word of the living God, whose I am and whom I serve by his calling with my spirit, I declare that the God of Zion, the one that said I will comfort Zion, that God of Zion, the God of the church of, living, of, of Christ will visit your home this week. The wind of refreshing shall blow on you and all yours from this day in the name of Jesus. They asked Peter, they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? He said, repent, so that this season of refreshing, there is a wind of refreshing. May you experience that wind this week in the name of Jesus. In the authority of the name of Jesus, nothing that is needed, hear me. I don't care whether it is the hair on your head or the eyebrow or whatever. Nothing that is needed for your welfare and comfort will be withheld from you in the name of Jesus. In other words, receive all your needs met in the name of Jesus. This week, the beauty of God's glory shall rise over you in the name of Jesus. He said he will beautify the meek with, 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 with salvation. And the glory of God that has risen upon this ministry shall be seen over your lives in the name of Jesus. Everlasting joy and gladness shall attend to you and your family this week in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible said the joy of the Lord is your strength. Therefore, receive strength sufficient for this week. Strength to overtake. Strength to possess. Strength to multiply. Strength to enlarge. Receive it in the name of Jesus. As God's servant, there are walls erected in your mind, around you physically, walls of limitations, barriers that limit your, your ability to see with your high, with your mind high. Those barriers are down. In the name of Jesus, I pull down every, by every wall of limitation, every wall of containment, erected against your progress. They are coming down like the wall of Jericho in the name of Jesus. And you will have a shout. It's going to be a shout of victory. It's going to be a shout of celebration. It's going to be a shout that your neighbors have never heard before. Bread shall be given to you. Your waters are sure. Bread shall be given to you. Your waters are sure. In other words, provisions are coming your way. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no weeping. 
there will be no sorrow in your tabernacles in the name of Jesus. Your feet, you just had it today. The Lord gave me this yesterday. You see, your feet can never take you to where your mind has never been. You just had us speak about it. Amen. That's just a confirmation. In other words, <laughs> not only are you going to see it with your mind, but your feet, I'm addressing your feet. Your feet, if you are me, you will be touching your feet. These feet of mine, they will carry you to the right places. And you shall have the goodness of God falling upon you, line upon line, precept upon precept. Receive good success in all that you lay your hands on. In the name of Jesus. It shall never be said of you. If you had been here yesterday, you will be at the right places at the right time. And the right people will be there to meet you. I command every arrow that I shot at you right now to go back to send us. Go back to send us. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they have decreed will not happen in your life. Whatever they have, they said your hand will never touch. It will fall upon their children's children. In the name of Jesus. Hey, I command every dead Lazarus. Every dead and buried dreams. Ideas and innovation. To resurrect and come back to life right now. Come back to life right now. In the name of Jesus. You shall return next Sunday. And when you are returning, you are returning with abundance.